Let's take a look at comparing fractions, decimals and percentages. Now probably the easiest thing to do when you're dealing with a mixture of percentages, um, decimals and fractions is to convert all of them into either decimals or percentages. I think percentages is probably the easiest thing to do. So in the first example, 45%, well that is a percentage so we'll leave that alone. The second one is 25 out of 50, so can we convert that into a percentage? Um, so remember that per cent means out of 100 and a percentage is an equivalent fraction which is out of 100. So 25 out of 50 is the same as what out of 100? Well the number on the bottom has been doubled so for an equivalent fraction we need to multiply the number on the top by 2 as well and 25 times 2 is 50. So 25 out of 50 is the same as 50 out of 100 and that is 50%. So we've got 45%, 50%, and 0 0.55 is a decimal. Now to convert a decimal into a percentage, we just need to multiply by 100, and 0 0.55 times 100 is, well, we just need to move the decimal point two positions. So 55.0, otherwise known as 55%. So the largest is the 55%, which is the 0 0.55. The next largest is the 50%, which was the 25 out of 50, and then the smallest was the 45%. For the second example, exactly the same process, except we need to start with the smallest. So three out of five, I'm gonna convert that into a percentage, which is an equivalent fraction out of 100. To turn a five into a 100, that is a calculation where we're multiplying by 20. So for an equivalent fraction, I'm gonna to need to multiply the top by 20 as well, and three 20s are 60. So um, 60 over 100 means 60%. Remember, percent means out of 100. So three out of five, or three fifths, that's 60%. 0 0.65, that's a decimal. So if I multiply that one by 100, I'll, I'll turn it into a percentage, and that is 65%. And then we've got 70%. So the smallest is going to be the 60%, so three fifths. The next smallest is the 65%, which was the 0 0.65 and therefore the biggest is the 70%. So as you can see, if you just turn everything into percentages, then it makes the comparison so much easier.